What's up everyone? Welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you that wild camping doesn't have to be expensive. But before we get into it, hit that like, smash that subscribe, and let's roll that intro. So first things first on your list, you're going to want to buy a tent. Now I've bought the Eurohight Cons 2 DLX Nightfall Edition from Go Outdoors and that cost me a total of £50. It's a nice big tent um, and for £50 can't really go wrong with it. It's uh, still up against some snow when I used it last time. So it's done well. I've only used it out in the camp once um, but I'm looking forward to trying it a bit more. If you want to check out a bit more on this tent, um, I'll leave a link to my review of the tent uh, at the end of the video. Next up on your list should be your sleep system. So I've just got a cheap inflatable roll mat from eBay. Uh, you can get these anywhere. They're around £15 to buy. Um, they're okay. They're okay. It's simple, compact and self-inflating. This one's got a pump built into it. So um, it's nice and easy to put up. You don't need to bring a pump with you. And with that, you can pair it up with a nice normal foam roll mat with a insulated back on it. These, not too expensive either. They're around 10 pounds from Amazon, go outdoors, eBay, wherever. But this is always nice to have, especially on the colder months, just to insulate the bottom of your mat. And it does give you that little bit extra of thickness. Then you want to buy a sleeping bag. I've gone for the Andes Nevado 400. It is very comfy. It's a bit overkill for summer, definitely for summer. But I started recently camping out in the colder months. So I bought this for £20 from the Andes website. It is an extra large, so there's plenty of space inside. Uh, because I am a side sleeper, I do fidget around a bit and it is a bit uncomfy when your legs are restricted. So that's a good buy, £20. Can't go wrong. The only problem is this weighs half of the weight of my tent. Well, actually, tell a lie. It weighs more than half of the weight of my tent. This is 2.5 kilos and the tent is 3.7. It is, it is heavy, but it is a damn comfy sleeping bag to have. After you've been trekking up to your spot, you've pitched your tent, you've set up your sleep system, you're going to want to have something to eat or something hot to drink. So you're going to want a stove. Now I've got the Takana Solo Stove by OEX. And it is a good sized uh, pot stove it is a good sized stove i have used this a couple times now and i have done a review on this which didn't really go amazingly the first time round when i tried unboxing it ah do not do that um ch again check out our other videos to see that um, I was a bit of a complete noob, I believe they call it, when it comes to, uh, to gas and stoves. But I since learned how to use it, how to set it up properly, and it works a treat. So that's the OEX Takana Solo Stove. That was £39 from Go Outdoors, um, and I believe it's still retailing for that sort of price now. So that's a good buy. It's compact, the canister fits inside, everything fits inside, and it goes in this nice little drawstring bag, which uh, makes it easy to carry around. Next up is your carrying system, i.e. a bag. I've gone for an 85 litre bag because my tent is quite big, my sleeping bag is also quite big. And I've got enough space in there for my water, my food, my stove, my 
my mats and all that stuff and the filming equipment. So this is the Nepal 85 by Eurohike and it's a big bag and it's a comfy bag to have on your back. I paid £40 for this from Go Outdoors again and maybe 85 litres was a bit too big but for £10 extra compared to the 65 litre version it was a no-brainer. So you want to get a nice bag for it something that carries all your things nicely and comfortably. This actually has two rails on the back that uh, help keep everything stiff and straight. Uh, it's got all the adjustable straps that go around your waist and around your chest. Um, nice large side pockets on both sides. Big, open, full height use of that. It's got a drawstring in the middle to keep everything nice and tight uh, to prevent any leaks going in. And on the top, it's got a very large, uh, very generous pocket. And I can get all my water and all my food um, and some of my recording equipment in there for one night. So it's not too bad. So that's it, really. That's the basics you need for a camp. There are some other things you can take with you. I mean, you're going to need a, a torch or a light for inside your tent. I've got one of these little uh, battery operated light bulbs. And that just clips to the inside of my tent in there. Get those for about a pound. Um, so they're pretty inexpensive. You are going to want a proper torch, obviously, because it is going to get dark eventually and you're going to need to see. So I actually use this, which is a, uh, a torch that I use for mountain biking. And I've had this for probably about five years now. And it is a very powerful torch. Um, robust it also acts as a power bank but I don't actually need to use it as a power bank because I take a power bank with me always leave it fully charged for emergencies um, unless your phone's running out of battery so that's always a good thing to take uh, moving on to another light I like to take one or two of these little cob lights they're tiny lightweight they're magnetic they've got a stand on the back they've got a carabiner clip on the top and they're okay they're quite good they're handy to keep in the side of your tent pocket um in the middle of the night if you need to use it it's always handy to have one it provides that little bit of light for you you could also opt for a head torch which um they're pretty inexpensive you can pick these up for about six or seven pounds from anywhere this one is battery operated you do get rechargeable ones but it fits on nicely and it's quite powerful I do like to wear my hats with the lights built in, as you'll see in some other videos. Um, I use those all the time just because it's a two in one, keeps my head warm at night and it's a head torch at the same time. First aid kit is always a good idea. Um, I keep things like my foil blanket, plasters, um, antiseptic wipes and things like that. Just general first aid stuff in case I hurt myself on a camp or a hike that goes with me every time i'm out on the moors so that's it really that's all you need for basic wild camping up on dartmoor or wherever you are in the world if you're concerned about overspending and not budgeting enough i would say do a bit of research into it have a look at some reviews on tents and some reviews on equipment but for me what i've shown you here is pretty much basic and cheap and I use on my camps. So there we go. That's it. All of that stuff in there for less than 200 pounds. I'll leave a link in the description of all the things that I take. I'll leave a link in the description for all the things that Alex takes and his setup. His setup is different to mine, but for me, this is pretty good. It's a pretty good balance between cheap and comfy. So thanks for watching. Hopefully see you next time. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, if you want to check out some reviews on some tents, I have reviewed this one. And I've reviewed my uh, Vangosol 200. Links at the end of this video. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time.